In this video, I'm going to show you how to do subtraction with dates. So what we have here, we just have a few things I've set up that will help us uh, kind of give you an idea how you can use this. First of all, one thing to know, in Microsoft Excel, every date has an underlying number that it's been assigned, and that's how it runs calculations. That's not really important to know that. But just so you do know, the very first date that Microsoft Excel will use is January 1st, 1900. And it goes January 1st, and so January 1st, 1900 is assigned a 1. If you were to change this format up here to general, you'd see that it's a 1. January 2nd, 1900 is a 2. So if we just change these back to short dates, we have January 1st and January 2nd 1900 so just knowing that will sometimes in different scenarios give you a better idea of how to or what kind of formula you could use to run dates so just the at the most basic in its most basic form just to subtract a date uh, we have this is how you want to do it you want to use the later date first and you want to use the earlier date earlier date second so all you'll do is you'll subtract uh, January 1st 2003 from December 25th 1945 and so what that gives us is shows us that the days that have elapsed are 24,483. There's some different formatting things you can do, but just really quickly, if you wanted to know how many years that was, you obviously just divide this by 365. So it's been 67 years since then. If you want to know how, how long something will last, uh, let's say that you put something into service. May, maybe you could start a depreciation, do something with depreciation with this. If, uh, if you put something into, fir into service um, April 25th, 1989, and it's going to last, um, let's see, eight years times 365, then the end date would just be this date plus... 2920 and that will give you in again in the date format which is nice it does that automatically um, April 23rd 1997 another thing that's really useful if you want to quickly know how how many days ago or what date was 90 days ago you can use the today formula and you just use the two parentheses and subtract 90 and that it shows you in a date form. So 3-29-2014. So 90 days ago from today was uh, March 29th, 2014. So that's some of the ways you can use or subtract dates, some of the date formats. And some of the other videos will go over some more advanced ways of using dates.